So your jaw hurts. Perhaps you're feeling it more when you're chewing or you're afraid of yawning and opening your mouth really wide. Well, it's likely that it's your masseter muscle. Here's my assistant Hans. The masseter muscle attaches here at the cheekbone and then at the lower part of the jaw. Its main function is to close the jaw and is the main muscle of mastication or chewing. Oftentimes this muscle gets injured from clenching or grinding or occasionally from prolonged opening of your mouth. In a moment, I'm going to demonstrate for you a really awesome stretch for the masseter muscle as well as a self-massage technique. The goal here is to increase function and decrease symptom. Alright, so the masseter stretch. Similar to the temporalis stretch, we're going to use the palmer aspect of our hand to execute this stretch. I like to use a product um, called Liquid Chalk. The goal here is to reduce any type of glide. Hand sanitizer works well or talc. It just really helps to anchor in the tissues. And then what you want to do is, taking the palmer aspect of your hand, you're going to, in that lower part of the jaw, you're just going to anchor in. If you want to confirm that you're on the muscle, clench your teeth. There we are. And I'm gently going to push in and down. Not forward, but down. You don't need a lot of pressure for this to feel good. <laughs> also, no one looks good doing this, um, so you might want to avoid doing this in public, or do. I'm just going to hold this for as long as feels relevant to you. Could be 10 seconds, could be 30 seconds, a minute. Just listen to your body, do what feels right. And you can repeat this exercise several times a day. Next, I'm going to show you how to do a self-massage technique for the masseter muscle. So remembering the anatomy, let's bring Hans back here, top of the cheekbone, and there's the masseter muscle. The masseter muscle is approximately three fingers width. You want to avoid putting any pressure where your index finger is because that's where the joint is and we don't want to compromise the joint. So using the tips of our fingers and not putting any pressure here, you're going to slowly do some small circular motions. So I'm going forward right now and that feels pretty good, but let me try going backwards. Ah, oh, that's feeling really good right there. That's a really good spot for me. So I would hold the spot. It would hang out here for a little bit because it feels really relevant. You can move through the middle part of the muscle here. I'm really identifying with moving back. It feels really great. And then you can slowly start working your way down the masseter really great in there too. Working with direction whether it's front or back or up or down. Just really take a moment and listen to your body and identify what feels relevant. If a spot feels good, give it some attention. Remember, respect the injury, be patient with the process, but most of all, be gentle with yourself.